Shoot them. Welcome back to another episode of Hunting Sodak. Today, we're out here in the first cornfield, dry field mallard hunt of the year. And I am pumped up. This is going to be, hopefully, one of the greasier hunts of the year. We got five guys out here. We got about 10 dozen dive bombs, layout blinds, and a chopped cornfield. And it's hopefully gonna get greasy. We'll introduce a guest once he gets over here. Hint, it's kind of a greeble. He's kind of a greeble. He's setting up decoys though, so he's a good little greeble. I'm a greeble. Ooh. I think you need to turn around the camera. Guy. <laughs> What's going on? Not much. Just setting out some decoys right here. We're going to get down. We're going to get covered up and hopefully we can get these ducks to finish right on our face. I'm jacked up for the first cornfield hunt. Aiden absolutely oh. went merc mode on this corn here. Ooh, now we gotta chop it in half and get these blinds tough. Just mainly the fronts of them, the tops look okay. Ducks are kinda stupid when it comes to corn. They Everything kinda looks the same once they get out in the field, but especially early season, so we can get away with some weeds and grass in our blinds, but. Got, got, my, got, the, got the boy Puddin, star wide receiver. Big 75. Okay, the camera's focused. Boom! <laughs> Done. Fun, you Sl absolute Brutus. Slayed the boomstick on him. Phew. Well, boys, this is what we got going here. Oh, Sammy's getting even. You got that point blank mojo oh, action. I'm putting off to the side Phew. a little bit. He wants, well, he wants him on his side. I, I want him on my blind. We got Sam there, and then we got right four north. blinds here. We got Andre the lefty on that oh, side. So. Everyone should be right in their, their right swinging zones, and we got. Three greasy mojos at point blank, and hopefully we can finish them right on the blinds. We uh, went and got a little more corn action and scattered it on the ground, make it kind of look like a some greeble corn lives here. Yeah, a greeble. <laughs> we made it look like the uh, chopper knocked down some corn. So hopefully it gets greasy. We're gonna get these pickups out of here. We're gonna watch the beautiful sunrise and cack some mallards. <laughs> Shoot him there, shoot him. Hey. There we go, how many did you get? That boy, my neck. Oh. <laughs> well boys, first dry field mallards. Greeny down. I think we got another greeny out here, boys. There's one here. Scoop them up, boys. Yeah, another Drake. Malted greenies in the corn, baby. Right there, Andre. Sweet, all Drakes? No, we got a head. Okay, other yeah, than that, we got Drake's. I All right, got a throw them behind the blinds, boys. That's a good start out here. That's, I'm excited, dude. I got my heart racing. Yeah, I'm ready to go today, boys. They're in here, boys. What are we thinking? Oh my, that's that's actually decent for this time of year. Curl, he's curled up, boys. Oh God, yeah. He's curled up, boys. Missing the green head, but hey. It's coming in. We got to him before the green head came in, but can't win them all. So wrong. Oh, Andre! Oh, clapped him. Absolute clap, says boy. <laughs> nice little Susie. <laughs> Me and Buddy collided that one. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I had to call oh, them there. The they were going to get too go. far to the right. They're doing it, God. They're doing it nasty. Oh. How, how many do we got? Three. It's one pass and they're in here on these. <laughs> this is how I like it. <laughs> they're little groups too. That's nice. Not big wads. I'm wearing dudes right now in a cornfield. Shooting mallards. I. <laughs> this is my favorite hunting in the world. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. 65 degrees, killing mallards with the boys. Nothing better.
Shoot them. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. These ducks have been shot out of here twice, so it doesn't surprise me that they're a little bit gun shy to get in here. Um, I kind of just had to call it. They were kind of playing hard to get. They weren't really working in exactly how we wanted them to. And they were kind of flaring on top of us, so I don't know, we might wanna, we'll think, we'll see what this next group does that we get over here, and then we might move these decoys out a little bit and scatter them. They're a little close to the blinds. We're just trying to decoy them right on top of us and can't always do that. Oh yeah. Well, we got our decoys kind of moved out now a little more. We had them too close to the blind, but I'd rather shoot a limit of birds instead of just decoying one or two good flocks right to the boob eggs. So we'll see what happens here. I still see flocks rolling off the roof. So it's definitely not over. Sun hasn't even got up yet, but we're just kind of playing with some hard to get ducks is all. Yep, that was the strat. Well, we just uh, we went ahead and moved all the goose decoys, all the decoys in front of us, and that was clearly the strat. We finished them. Uh, we got three. Hey, there's one out here. We just got five out of that group, and I just yelled, "Kill them!" I mean, they weren't. They weren't finished perfect. Actually, we got we got six out of that flock. Hey now, Greeny, Malter. Yeah, we got six out of that flock, and it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't the best finish, but it was a lot better than the other stuff. So this could be the strat. We put all of our decoys out in front of us a little bit, and they did it pretty nice. I just got on the. They like that. Uh, little Cajun squeal I was giving them that kind of got them to commit yeah but look at the wad boys <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> let's go we got six out of that flock uh, one hen in here 
behind us in the They want in Where? Shoot him, Andre. Hey, hey! Someone take a shell. Someone take a shell and get that thing. Hey, there we go. Shall we run and grab that one? Out in the duck feed, killing a few honk daddies. Yes, sir. Aiden, there we go, boys. Here we go, eh? No agree, evil. <laughs> Sheesh! How many ducks we got? Like, I think we got 15 ducks down now. Halfway to a mallard limit, and we only—I think we've only shot three or four hens. So, have been doing pretty good on the drakes. Been rocking them today. There's the grease pile for the day. I mean, not bad. Felt good to get back out on the mallards in the cornfield, but could have been a little bit better. Towards the end, we kind of had it figured out on that one last group when we put all our decoys out in front of us. That was definitely the strat. I don't know what I was thinking, setting them behind us. But the more you know, you gotta just keep learning. Every hunt, you just gotta keep learning. That's how it goes. And you gotta refresh yourself every year because you get out there and you think you know what's going on, but you really don't. But well, boys, not a bad little greaser with the greeble from down south. Oh yeah. What do you think of the? Really it was a lot better thing. than hunting in a slough. I'll tell you that much, old son. Yes, sir. You know, hunting in a slough is just not it. I was telling him when we were banging teal down there in Minnesota, I was like, we got to get up here and hunt in the dry fields right away. And luckily, we found one and. Turned out to be alright, we ended up with 15 mallards and 2 geese, so wasn't terrible, not a bad little hunt. Could have been a little better, but that's how every hunt goes, right? What'd you boys think? It was saucy. 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 It was alright. It was pretty good. Pretty good? Could have been better. I'd rather sleep in. <laughs> Shut up, in. <laughs> yeah, they're all lying to you, so... Oh, um, that's probably going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed that field banging, we're going to definitely do a lot more of that this year. So if you enjoyed that, probably should subscribe just so you can stay tuned for some bangers like this in the future. If you enjoyed Andre's epic shooting today, banging <laughs> hawkers, you better leave a like on this video. And we'll probably see you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.